Hi, it's Yolandi from Good Night. Today's video is all about teething and sleep. The number one excuse that parents use for their babies not sleeping. The number one excuse that parents use for their children not sleeping is teething. <laughs> and to be honest, more often than not, it is not the true culprit for your child not sleeping. Of course, teething can impact sleep for a night or two, but very rarely is it the culprit when we are talking about weeks and months on end of not sleeping. The best rule of thumb to have and to remind yourself is that babies don't just get teeth in the middle of the night. They also get it during the day. So if your child is fussy during the day and at night, this could be the reason. Teething can be painful for babies because it is the first level of kind of pain is that itchiness and because they don't have any threshold for pain it could have a little bit of an impact on them but the reality is more often than not is that when they start teething it's the same time as what they start mouthing objects meaning that they start grabbing for toys they put their hands in their mouth and this newfound skill often causes the drooling that we see and we often associate with teething and this drooling obviously a lot of drool comes out of their mouth but also a lot of drool goes into their throat and this could also cause um, those funny diapers that's associated with teething if you suspect but like i mentioned it is not really something that affects sleeping but like I mentioned, teething is not really the something. <clears throat> but like I mentioned, teething is not something that is affecting your sleep long term or your baby's sleep long term. So if you suspect teething, you can put teething gel on your child's teeth, or you can contact your doctor or clinic sister to advise on the necessary medication that you can give. But it's not a reason not to start the process. It's not a reason to worry. If you're worried, wait one or two days, but you can go ahead with the sleep training process even while your child is sleeping. I hope these tips helped and gave you some insight on teething and sleep. Good night. <laughs>